Yo, what is up, guys? Today, here I am going to introduce you what to my new history playlist. I'm a junior, and I'll be teaching you history. You kind of like how my dad did. If you're wondering, my dad is the, the old Abe from Wisconsin, the Wisconsin State Eagle. Do you say you need me, boy? Did you say you need me? Anyways, now we should get started. Our topic today is going to be my father, old Abe. Anyways, let's get started. Old April, my father was born May 27th, 1861, and he died March 26th, 1881 of smoke inhalation. He is he was in the eighth the Wisconsin Infantry in the Civil War. He's the actually a symbol now of the, the 108th the Airborne Division. I believe that is in Wisconsin. He also died at the Madison State Capitol in Wisconsin. Now we can start to now we can start to tell you a bit more about his journey to the Civil War. Remember, I did some research and it turns out that my father was the, was the 101st the Airborne Regiment, the, as known as a Screaming Eagle, on their patch. Old Abe was captured by Chief Sky. He was the son of Ab Morris, who was an influential leader, uh, of, influential leader of the Black Do Flambo Ojibwe. In spring of 1861, Chief Sky set up a hunting camp and a fishing camp near the south fork of the Flambeau River. Within today, the Chakwa National Forest, east of Park Falls, Wisconsin. Here, he noticed a treetop nest worth of fledgling eagles, and to capture them, he cut down the tree. One eaglet died from the fall, and the other became the young Indian's pet. That summer, Chief Sky and his father canoed down the Chippewa River on a trading expedition. At Jim Falls, Wisconsin, they encountered Daniel McCann, who lived nearby in Eagle Point. The Indian sold the eagle to McCann in exchange for a bushel of corn. In August 1861, John C. Perkins, assisted by Seth Pierce, Frank McGuire, Thomas G. Butler, and Victor Rudolph, recruited a company of volunteers from Eau Claire and Chippewa counties. This company was called Eau Claire Badgers. Soon after its formation, McCann offered to sell the Eagle to the Badgers for $2.50, which is much more today. In his history, Old Abe published in 1865 the Joseph O. Barrett, who helped McCann break the eagle. Eau Claire gave a description of the transaction, which can be paraphrased as, so, Will you buy my eagle? said McCann. Only two dollars so and a half. Here, boys, let's put in 25 cents apiece, answered Frank McGuire, who will began to collect quarters. He also solicited a contribution for from a civilian, S.M. Jeffers, but was rebuffed. When the soldiers heard of this, they accosted Jeffers and gave him three lusty groans. When he understood that they were protesting against his reluctance to help buy the eagle, Jeffers laughed, paid for the bird with the quarter eagle, and presented him to the company. After that, he had cheers instead of groans. The quarters were returned to the donors. Captain Perkins named the eagle after President Abraham Lincoln. 
His quartermaster, Francis L. Billings, made a special perch on which to carry the bird into battle, and the, a young soldier, James McInnes, volunteered to take care of them. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more, and we'll have more on all day next time. But thanks for watching. Wait, Dad? Dad! Don't! Don't!